Welcome back. It's a fairly common situation these days. Grandparents as parents. And it's one that can often be quite challenging. We're joined by Sandra Flynn, who's a grandparent who's raising her grandchildren. And Christy Stambaugh, Director of Aging and Disability Support with the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government. The office was closed today due to the situation. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> You're here. You are here. working. Uh, uh, so tell us about this important cause. What does GAP stand for, and why is this conference so important? It stands for Grandparents as Parents. And what we have found is that the grandparents need some extra support and knowledge and parents Parenting the second time around is a different. lot different, different than it was the first time. So we focus on educational seminars on legal issues and bullying and internet and mm -hmm. things that probably didn't cross our minds exactly. when parenting yeah, exactly. very different. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Sandra, t uh, tell us about as a grandparent the, the challenges you face and you're raising how many? We have five grandchildren. My husband and I are raising. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have three-year-old twins and a five-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a thirteen-year-old. So we have the the new Newborn and the teenager just coming around, so it's it's all new. You know, there's new bullying that wasn't around when my children, who are 40 now, you know, uh, were being in school. So it's it's a lot different, and you get to meet the other grandparents and work on ideals together at the conference. I, I saw you shaking your head as as mm -hmm. Christy was giving all the topics that are coming up. Um, has it been a lot more than you thought it would be? playing that role of parent? Yes, because uh, there's five, uh, for one mm -hmm. thing, and I only had two in the beginning, you know, so it, it is different how you have to stretch and figure out who has the priority for the day, you know, so. But we and, can all learn yeah. from each other. Yes, this is true. And, and uh, so that's the idea, share the ideas, exactly. what works, exactly. and, and uh, what works for you, hopefully it will be uh, helpful to some others. Mm -hmm. yes. You seem to be a strong uh, lady. <laughs> the <laughs> kids have made us strong. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's true. true. So amazing. important conference, we know. How do you register? register for it. So you register by either going to gapofkentucky.org or contacting the Fayette County Extension Office. They're a partner for us and they're taking care of registration. For our grandparents it's just five dollars mm -hmm. and for our professionals because it's important that they know what challenges that the grandparents are facing it's mm -hmm. fifty dollars but it comes with continuing education. We have an amazing speaker we're bringing in from the East Coast Dr. Crumley and mm -hmm. Chris Ford council member from the first district yeah. who was raised by his grandmother so he's going to share his story with us at the That'll conference. Be interesting. March 19th here in Lexington. All right, an enriching good. opportunity. Thanks for coming. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you.